Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie, and welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Okay, today I want to attempt to show y'all how to do the traditional chevron. Now, some patterns call it a zigzag. Some patterns call it a wave. The, I guess you would say, technical name for it is chevron. Okay, y'all ready? Alright, before we get started, let me tell you. Okay, y'all know how I like to do it. I like to have a, a, a chain one for a turning chain. Okay, so I'm going to tell you that the multiples for this is in multiples of 10. And if you do it like I do with just one chain as a turning chain, it's plus two. Otherwise, if you want the chain three, then it's multiples of ten plus four. Okay? But if you do it like me, like I said, multiples of ten plus two. Hey, right, I will be right back when I get, I'm going to do a chain of twenty-two. Okay, I have my chain of 10 plus 2. I did 22. All right. Now, if you did um, 24 or plus 4 instead of plus 2, you'll go into the 4th chain from the hook, and put one double crochet here. But, I don't do that. So, I'm going to yarn over, if I can get my yarn and my fingers to work right, I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook, and I'll put a double crochet. Okay, now, my turning chain don't count as nothing. If you do... A turning chain of three then it counts as a double crochet and then you just put a double crochet but mine don't count as nothing so I'm gonna go back in the same stitch and I'll put another double crochet and that's what you're gonna do at the beginning and the end of every single row is two double crochets at the beginning and two double crochets at the end every single row. Alright, now the reason why I like this one is because it's easy to count. A lot of them have like four and five straight double crochets and then you do your hills and valleys. I like this one because you got three straight double crochets and then you double crochet three together for a valley, and then you put three in one for your mountains. Okay, so we're gonna in the next three stitches put one double crochet in each one. And this is like a one row repeat pattern. Because this row, you'll repeat it over and over and over. That's the only row. Alright, so, got three regulars. Got the two on the end. Three regulars. Now, we're going to do a valley. So, we're going to double crochet three together over the next three stitches. So there's one. Two. 
to three. That'll leave four loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all. And then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Okay, now I'm going to lay this down and I'm gonna let you see it. See, we created a valley. Now, we got to create a mountain. So, in the next stitch, we're going to put three double crochets in one stitch. And that's how we form our mountain, our peak, however you want to call it. But yeah, this is why I like this pattern um, instead of some of the others because this one's easy to count. I mean, like, super easy. You got two on the beginning, two on the end. You got three regular, three together, three regular, three and one. So now, three regular. Ah, my yarn's not working right. Well, it's probably not my yarn. I'm blaming it on the yarn. It's probably me. Okay. Got our three regular. And you can lay it down. And you can see, got our valley right here, got our peak right here. So we'll go here, another valley. So that's double crochet three together over the next three stitches. One. Two. Three. Four on the hook. Yarn over. Go through all of them. Okay. And then got three regulars. One in each of the next three stitches. The next row will be easier because I'm, I'm going in that back bump and well I just split my yarn there it's okay because it's just a swatch okay and then in that last one you want to put two now if you did this in a longer pattern well, instead of putting two in that one, you would put three together, da 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 da, and you just keep working that same pattern all the way across. Okay? Now, you got two options here. You can chain three and turn, and that count as one double crochet, or you can do like I do, and you can chain one and put two double crochets. I like doing it that way because there's no mistake on where my stitch is. And to me, it just looks neater. There ain't no, like, bulge or gap or whatever. Okay, so got two on the end. So, start the pattern over. And do the same thing. One in each of the next three. Mm 
Okay, and you can look at it and tell, well, right there you had a valley. So, you double crochet three together over the next three stitches. Like I said, it is a one row repeat. That's why a lot of people like this pattern, because, well, it's just one row. Over and over. See? And then put one in the next three. Each of the next three. Well, we just did a valley. So, incidentally, that next stitch is the middle of those three in the same stitch. So, you know, right there, you put three in that one stitch. Ah! That ever happened to y'all? You get going so fast and you just slip right out of it. <laughs> All right. So now we put one in each of the next three. All right, well, we're back down at another valley. So, we got to do one and that one. One and that one. One and that one. And then four on the hook, yarn over and go through all four. And that leaves us one, two, three and one stitch left and we put two in that one because remember at the beginning and the end we put two of every single row and that's all this pattern is that is all it is to it and you'll see the the sides because you're doing two in each beginning and end, the sides will stay straight. It's a beautiful pattern. Alright. That's going to be all for today. So I will meet you back in the next one for another grand adventure right here in Val's Yarn Room. I'm going to try to come up with some really unusual stuff for next week. Um, I don't know. I might even do some Tunisian. I like Tunisian. You're crocheting, but the Tunisian knit stitch looks like you done knitted something. But you're actually crocheting. Alright. That's going to be all. Um, I will be off for the next two days, I believe it is. And I should be back. Should. <laughs> um... Let's see, Sunday morning is when my next video should come up. All right. This is my weekend, so I'm just going to say everybody have a good weekend. Because <laughs> it's my weekend. All right. Um, if you haven't already... Hit that subscribe. 
when you do give us a thumbs up that lets youtube and me know if you like me or not and uh share if you can leave me a comment i love reading y'all's comments and i try to get back to every single comment somebody leaves now i don't get a notification if Say, I'm on my 180th some video. So, if you leave a message or a comment on my second video I ever put up, I won't get a notification of it. I apologize about that. Periodically, I do sometimes go back and check and see. But, like I said, I try to leave uh, reply to every single comment. So, if you got a question, ask. All right. And, uh, do something nice for somebody, even if it's just a smile. And, uh, love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. Y'all, y'all brighten my day. Alright. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.